right as I was about to talk, the best songs in music history begin. Welcome back. We are here with the highly anticipated sequel to The Secret of Monkey Island. This is called Monkey Island 2, The Chuck's Revenge Special Edition. Also, a very short title. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I, I've heard, pray tell, that this is much more difficult than the first one, which is great, because that didn't challenge me at all. <laughs> like, wasn't even... I solved every puzzle immediately upon seeing it. Zero challenge. So, prepare for lots of big brain moments. I'll, I'll sprinkle in a couple, like, tiny brain moments, just to, you know, make you guys feel better about yourselves. But otherwise, you're gonna just see, basically, you know, perfection. Perfection. <laughs> the sword fighting was something. I'll give you that. I've got my notebook, blank pages. Ready to rumble. If you've never played these games, these are point-and-click adventures. Uh, from the 90s? And, uh, they've been remastered, the first and the second one. Which was what we're playing. And then, on Monday, we'll be playing a brand new Monkey's Island releasing. 2022. Very exciting to see how they're gonna do that. And, uh, we'll have all the knowledge that we need from playing the first and second to go into what is canonically the third game because it's made by the same guy who made the first two before they went off to be developed by other people. Long story, doesn't matter. That's what we're doing. So, hello. Hello. Welcome, Juniper. Hello. Fresh Benny good boy. Nice to see you. Any thoughts on the art style of the Monkey Island? Uh, I think the special edition versions are very, very good. A lot of people were saying that this one's even better than the first one. But honestly, if you looked at the old school versions of them, the pixel art from the original games, they were pretty good too. So, no, you fight like a dairy farmer. Something, something, you're a cow. Something, 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 something. <laughs> good look, fancy pants. Right back at you, buddy. Monday is gonna be fun because no one's gonna know the answer. 100% agree, Darren. Very, very, very excited for that. Because what's what's fun is, on on one hand, you guys, a lot of you guys know the answers to some of the solutions, but you also know the story, you know everything. And I'm just kind of like tagging along to be like, to join the cool crowd and to know like what this game's all about. But on Monday, yeah, we're all in the same boat. I'm rubber, you are glue. Omar, you got it backwards, bro. Come on. You had one job, Omar, one job. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. People who've already done this just can't handle when someone doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a couple people get like really frustrated. Like, how does he not get it? I'm like, I don't know, man. I, uh, I don't know all the things all the time. You know, I do my best. That's all I can do. People fall at my seat when they see me coming. Yeah, that's because they smell your bad breath first. <laughs> I got them all. I got them all. You wanna see my face closer? It's a weird request, but fine. The plank was obvious, yeah. Very, yeah, totally. Totes. Okay, guys, are you ready? We're gonna have a little intro here. I don't know what's gonna happen. We uh, saved the damsel in distress at the end of the first one, but very progressive writing, I will say, from the 90s. She didn't need our saving. She had it under control the whole time. She had it under control. That was sick. And we defeated LeChuck, I think, but he's obviously back, hence the title. How? Don't know. What's happening with the rest of our crew? Maybe they'll be here, maybe they won't. Uh, we'll see. Are you guys ready? You're excited because you never managed to finish this when you were a kid. Oh, sick. Okay, well, let's go. 
This is us. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Yes, that is how we ended. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. What's so up, I goats? I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah. <laughs> If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. <laughs> the biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. We took some creative embellishments on that story, it seems. David, thanks again, man. Thanks for gifting yet ah, another membership. guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid thanks, 50 man. bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Oh, we have a little bit of a 5 o'clock shadow now on uh, Guybrush. Okay, part one, the Largo Embargo. Let's go. Hit me with a puzzle. Let me dazzle all these people with my... brain prowess. Man, okay, I was gonna say that I really am looking forward to having an empty inventory, and then it literally just filled us. Riches, riches, we just have so many riches. Looks like some of the controls are different. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. I should be set for the whole trip with this. This should be plenty of money to charter a ship. Mm -hmm. Look at all this. Oh, more rich. Oh, this is all just riches. This is okay. These are all just okay. But well, this is fine. This I've got is enough riches. to buy my own ship in five different currencies. I'll be traveling first class on this treasure hunt. Sure took a long time to save all this. Yeah. 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 Middle button to close. Okay. Okay. Do I not even need the keyboard? I would love that. It, can you see the old version? Not with that. There we go. Keeping it old school. Sick. I love that. That is like, I, I don't know how they did that, but that is very impressive. Oh, look at the little froggy. There's a little froggy there. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's anything that I'm going to miss right away. Probably. Okay, so left click is just move. Right click, look. Welcome to Woodtip. No treads or hunting zone. Oh, this is nice. I like this way better. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That was actually on there? I thought it said don't bring shovels or something. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. See, I'm... Guys, this is too easy. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting inventory items without even trying. Oops, uh, excuse me. Out of my way, fancy pants. All right. Oh. On second thought, stop right there. Oh, okay. You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. <laughs> Steven, thanks for the 16, man. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're having a good time, man. I'm a pirate. I'm not paying for nothing. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? That's right. Uh, oh. uh, uh, help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. <laughs> Who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? Please, not in my new coat. 
Maybe I should cut you one out of cement. Whoa. Hey, you're alone it. This is my lucky knife. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Largo Legrand. Largo Legrand. I'm just gonna bring the game oh, volume no. down a couple. I guess I should have got those traveler's ticks. checks. Okay. Ooh, a hatch. Love a good hatch. Which boat is this? The Bloody Lip. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Seems reasonable. He took everything. I got my shovel, though. It's not empty, guys. It's not empty. Have no fear. Talk, pull, push. I like this way better, man. This is... I like this control scheme. <clears throat> yeah. What's up with the Largo guy? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Is this glowing? I feel like that was glowing. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. We win. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Oh, you know what? It's not glowing. I guess the lights are glowing. Hey, don't touch that. No one touches her but me. Sexual undertones? Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. That's sus. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Really? Oh no you don't. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Get away from there. Everything's laid out just how I need it. What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Get your hands away from there. It's adjusted to my height. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. What do you think you're doing? It's not for sale. Okay, he, he clearly isn't pumped that I'm here. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. What do you think you're doing? I need all of them. It says Woody. That's me. Get away from there. It's not okay, a Okay, so in order to get anything in here, we're gonna need to get him out of here. Let's come back. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. We'll come back. We have lots of things to explore. Should we go to the hatch? This is like, there's a lot of stuff everywhere right now. What a dinky little door. Let's go inside. Oh. Hello. Got maps. Shit loads of maps. Love the option uh, to pick me. up people. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Oh, you're not impressed? Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. 
Wally B feed. What could that mean? Is there any like play on something there? Why are you guys so pumped about Wally? Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh oh, who sent you He's here? He's a fan favorite. I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. <laughs> Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Oh really? So I gotta. I think I gotta lean more into my pirate side and start lying about stuff. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well. I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know its location is a mystery. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Four crew survived. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. That's cool. So we're gonna need those. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Okay, so we need to get to the Fat City Library, somehow get all these pieces, bring it back here, game over, done. What exactly do you do here? Seems easy. I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh... No, I'm the map-making sort of cartographer. Oh. <laughs> Only sissies use maps. Maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. Don't know if I'm buying that one, Wally. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. Oh, is that this right? This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. Okay. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. Interesting. Okay, so we're... Okay. We're hanging out with assholes, basically. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Swamp Rot in, And new chef at the Bloody Lip. So we got a few kind of objectives to check out. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With a sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Thanks for the lowdown. Anytime. Is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Wow. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too. Just kidding. Maps. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, uh, see ya. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay. What else do you got going on here? It's too small. It's too small. 
Nice map. Uh huh. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. He says. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Interesting. Yoink. Okay. Hey, where's my monocle? Yeah. I can't see a thing without my monocle. I don't monocle. know what happened to Everything it. Everything looks all blurry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Where is that thing? Sorry, man. It's mine now. I swear I put it right here. Oh. I hope I didn't lose it. It's blank. Is it? I'll never be able to afford a new one. What if we use the monocle? That doesn't seem to work. How am I supposed to work? It's a pile of blank paper. I've got enough. Dang. Okay, so maybe this is one of those situations I'm where I can grab this multiple dope. times. Okay, Can't well, I do anything right? We're gonna leave you. Bye now. Thanks for the monocle. Oh shoot. Poor guy. What's he gonna do now? We put him out of a job, I think. <laughs> He just spit in there. Nice. <laughs> nice. 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 69. Nice. 69. Nice. 69. 69. Nice. All right. Yeah, he's our people. What is he using to clean those glasses? <laughs> This spits green, too. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix oh, any see, drink Oh, see, now this is. is nice. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Yeah, that's the second you time that's been mentioned. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. Oh, it's a shakedown. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Yikes. Yeah, so the fact that when you switch to the classic version, it keeps the voiceover running this time. That's really nice, because that prevented me from looking at it a lot in the other one. I didn't want to ruin the, uh, the pace. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Yeah, boy? Grog, please. The shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. <laughs> Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Who's Kate? Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Hmm. Yeah, who's Kate? Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. So are we flashing back to this right now from the from the conversation we were having dangling with the lady at the start? And do we know who that is? Or uh, has that been mentioned? I might have missed it. It's possible. Oh, look at Lord Star Kirby. Oh my god. Wow. Ten gifted memberships. That is super, super kind of you. Holy smokes. CW got one, Eva got one, Vladislav got one, Sturm got one, Rat4, Murik, Lordstar, Kirby, Steven, Diogo, Janlan, and Cosmic Journey. Can we give a little clap in the chat? 
for Lord Star Kirby. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Sorry you're late. <laughs> you can be late anytime you want. That's incredible. Thank you. I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. Oh, if okay. If things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Okay, so he might need a cook one day. Interesting. Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. <laughs> I do have a business to run, you know. So the girl that was hanging was Elaine? And she was the governor, right? For some reason, I don't recall her name. We, I only referred to her as the governor. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Hey, Sneaks. Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley, I guess. Ew, I'm gonna take this, aren't I? Largo's been here. I don't wanna touch it with my hands. Can't dig that, Daddy. <laughs> Can't dig that, Daddy. Uh, oh, it worked! Yuck. Yep, it's Largo's. Okay, I got spit on paper now. That is great. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. It reads JoJo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Where's Jojo? You better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. It's a metronome. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Okay, I can start the metronome. Hey! Hired help only! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay, we did get spit down here, so I guess that's... that's something. Can't argue. All right, where to next? This ship? <laughs> Are these the guys from the first one? The low four, the low moral fiber guys. Wake up! They look a little rougher here. What is it? Long time no see. Do we know you? Yeah, my my street friends. I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. <laughs> map? Uh, oh, we even say the last game. I don't know game. what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. They say Fat Island? Is this the little rat that we freed? Then what happened? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Okay, that guy must be sitting on tons of cash. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Interesting. Whoop. Big Whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. That's going to be the same uh, salesman, I'm sure. 
When do we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? <laughs> for real? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Okay, that's cool. We have something to do. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, so to speak. Right, right. If he's lucky, we'll get to polish more than that leg. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh... Hmm. Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. <laughs> Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Yeah, I bet. It's just a bucket. It's never just a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got a piece of eight to buy wood polish. Nice. Nice. Well, what is it? It won't fit in my pocket. Uh, it won't fit in my pocket. Nice. 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 I don't think that'll work. Nice. 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 Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. <laughs> I'm clean, clean, clean. Is he like the blind dude from the first one? Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. Uh, that's I got the same dude, isn't it? Grog, spit, and swamp mud. The lookout. That's because I'm mad, Marty. Oh, I'm mad about sure getting your clothes as clean as they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out? Catch up? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. No, it's the same guy, you guys. It is. It's the same guy. Might as well be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. He's useless. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, <laughs> but I don't. Okay. Now I think we saw something. Hold on. I want to look at the options here. There's something about highlighting stuff. 
This is cool. Object highlighting to quick to help you identify interactive. <laughs> I just I think I had a stroke. To help you identify interactive objects more quickly, press the left and right mouse buttons together to highlight them. Ooh, that's nice. See, like this, I wouldn't have seen. It's sparkly clean. No ticket, no laundry. Fair enough. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's go to the wood guy. Let's see if I can get some wood polish. That's not you. <clears throat> yeah. Can I buy some wood polish? Can I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Yeah, that went so well last time. Okay, let's look at the highlights in here. Oh my god. Oh, he's got peg legs hanging. See? Also wouldn't have saw that. Nice peg leg. Thanks. I made it myself. Get away from there. Get away from there. Oh no, you don't. Okay, fine. Let's go back to the other guy. And then we have another ship to explore. If only I could use this stuff on my lines. On my lines? I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Is that right? If only I could use this stuff on my lines. Oh, God. That Thanks. made me uncomfortable. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Nice. That doesn't seem to work. That wouldn't be wise. <laughs> okay, so I made a piece of eight from doing that. Okay. Oh, see, look at this. Window. There's no glass in the window. There's no glass in the window. There's no glass in the window. Oh, we're in the back room. Okay, yeah, there's the piano outside. And the new cook. This is a Vichy Soisse. Vichy Soisse. Which means uh, Victorian sausage. I'm pretty sure. It's a cold potato and leek soup. Same thing. It's too heavy. I hate fishy swaz. So you're not going to pick it up because you hate it? I hate fishy swaz. Okay. The fire's out. I'm no cook. Sharp. There we go. He looks really into his cooking. He's doing a great job, actually. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Don't Ugh, all me. cans of fruit cocktail. I'm cooking. All I can see is water. All right. Canned goods. I hate fruit cocktail. Oh! I have an idea. <laughs> I really hope this works. This would be so sick. This would be so sick if it works. Remember that snot that we got? I'm gonna put it in the Vichy Soi, okay? And then he's gonna get fired because he's gonna serve people s disgusting. What's that guy's name? Largo Spit? And then I'm gonna take his job for some reason. Don't know why, but that's gonna definitely 100% work. That's sick. It's definitely gonna work. That's sick. What? Oh, maybe it won't. That's sick. I won't even. I can't even touch it. 
Can't dig that, Daddy. I don't want to gunk up the blade. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to polish that. Shit! That was a great idea! That was a great idea. What if I put wood polish in there? I don't want to polish that. Okay. Oh, God. I thought that was... I thought... I thought we had it. And there's no glass in the window. All right, fine. We'll keep we'll keep exploring. But I got to get him fired, obviously. Obviously. Let's go to this ship and see what's happening. When in doubt, polish. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got, man. That's all I got. Some freaking polish. Oh, hold on a sec. Go back out here. Oh, the little alligator. Okay, so this is not a separate... I thought maybe there was a separate hole there, but no. Always be on the lookout for gaping holes that you can use. That's what I learned in the first game. He's like Stan the salesman with all those arm moves. It's tied to the post. And it's securely fastened. And it's securely fastened. I'm not holding it. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. That's true. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. You have one room? Nice. Be with you in a <laughs> second. Be with you in a second. Be with you in a second. Be with you in a second. Nice. I have to have a room first. Is that right? Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. Okay. I don't know why I even would need rope. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Oh. Use knife to cut the rope. Alligator goes free. Hell yeah. Hey, you how'd old peg biter get loose? Yeah, I don't know. You better I'd go better look. Better go catch him. He's on a peg as well. Somebody else. Cheese squigglies. One of my <laughs> favorites. Uh, are, these are like uh, Cheetos, right? Like the Cheetos puffs, the puffy Cheetos, which I love, by the way. Those are my favorite. You put them in your mouth, you suck on them for a little bit, and they kind of melt. Like, not melt, but, you know, they kind of, like, disintegrate into this fake cheese little concoction in your mouth. Love that. One of my favorites. Yes. You're supposed to leave these things open. I have to have a room first. Okay, so he's gone. What does this do for me? Nothing. Nice. Oh, wait, I can go to the room. We're in. We're in again. Oh my god. It's been ransacked. I don't see anything special about Whoever it. Whoever stayed again, here. They never really have understood art. Who let you into my room? I uh, thought it was my room. Well, it ain't. So get the f out of here. <laughs> Okay, so he's staying here. Interesting. He's got a toupee. Nice. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. So if he's here, does that mean he's not at the other place? Could be. Or I could try putting cheese squigglies in the food. But I feel like that would be a natural, like, enhancement to any food. So, 
that gets him fired, I'd be pretty surprised. We'll probably give him a promotion. That wouldn't taste very good. Exactly, bro. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to polish that. I hate bitchy swaz. I can't dig that, daddy. Did that work? Oh. That's sick. That's weird. Okay. There's nothing in here. Let me see if I can go back to the, the right side of the island. Or the docking area. Because maybe Largo is... Now in his room. There we go, we're free. Wood tick. Okay, that's what this is called. Scab Island. We got a peninsula, a cemetery, a swamp, a beach. Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. Nice stick. I mean, thanks. These are the guys we're telling stories to. Steaming weenies. <laughs> nice. Wrap scallion steaming weenie hut. Place order here. Steaming weenie hut. All right, if you say so. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. No steaming weenies tonight. Steaming weenies. 20 feet. I can't pick that up. He's back. We're not going to go to the LeChuck story. They did not seem to like that. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. Yeah, he evaporated, That's because bro. I blew it into a thousand pieces. <laughs> oh, no. Not this story again. <laughs> we just can't help but bring it up, hey. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. What's this about an embargo? The Largo embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dredd. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. <laughs> AG Speeds is in the chat. You guys, listen up. This is very, very important. AG Speeds, up and coming YouTuber. He's making tons of Instagram shorts right now, crushing it. Does a lot of uh, who's faster, Sonic or The Flash, that kind of thing. Really, I'm telling you, he's the guy you gotta be following. AG Speeds, with a Z at the end. All one word, okay? He's also my nephew, and he's awesome. So that would be great if you did that. Okay. 
Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure. Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you'll listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people <laughs> aren't too friendly. The weather's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> the lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no tail in which to ride. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was nice, I'll tell you that. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named Captain Dredd. Ooh, sounds Yikes. spooky. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. <laughs> AG Speeds go, ask him about our duel in Mario Kart. I hope he practiced. Oh, we don't talk about that, okay? We're not, we're not going to talk about... Our Mario Kart race. It is not happening. Okay, but apparently we can get a boat. That's good. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye patch. Oh. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. Oh no. That is gross. I don't like it. Deadput, thanks for gifting a sub to AG Speeds, man. That's super kind. <laughs> thanks, man. I feel like I'm going to barf now. I ever tell you about the time I kicked LeChuck's butt? Look, Guybrush, besides the fact that we'd all rather die than hear that story again, there's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Largo Legrand is back on Scab. He used to be LeChuck's right-hand man. You don't want to get Largo on your bad side. No, I get that. When I was younger, I dated a girl who had a glass eye. I think it was glass. The thing no one really tells you about a glass eye that's kind of interesting First of all, it's it's noticeable, like, close up, but generally you wouldn't notice when people have them. Uh, but there's, like, a little uh, uh, peg in the back, I guess you would say, of a glass eye. That, like, goes into this socket in the back of your eye socket. And uh, that's kind of what holds it in place, which is, I didn't know that. And I bet you guys didn't know that, and now you do. All because of this disgusting marshmallow thing. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds yeah, it's me. the eye socket socket. Do we have any weenies left? Oh, he might want a weenie. So when Steam and Weenies is open, I could bring him a weenie from Steam and Weenies and they'll cook the weenie. Yeah, that's cool. Unless there's like an alternate way in, but I don't think I see one. I really like that highlight. That's going to keep me from missing... <laughs> it's not going to keep me from missing anything. Let's be honest. So they said the other side of the island. Probably down here. We got swamp. You can't highlight on this map, it looks like. Let's check the swamp. Knew a guy who had a glass eye. He never picked ones which looked like an eye, though. He had robotic and funky-looking ones. I think that's cool, too. I think that's cool. My friend's dad had one, too. It's funny. You, you think, like... Oh, yeah. No one's going to know about glass eyes. But they're a little bit more common than you would expect. It looks murky. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Oh. What about our bucket? I'm just looking for an excuse to use the bucket on something. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. Oh, that, mine. that's going into the Vichy Soie. Definitely. 
Definitely going into the Vichy Swa. Lubricant is essential. International House of Mojo. <laughs> Tomas, thanks for the super chat, my dude. Lubricant is essential. If you say so. Oh! Okay, I didn't even notice that it was totally open. Hold on, I want to get that feather. Oh, I can't. Really? International House of Mojo. They're just using this as a pointer. <laughs> AG Speeds, my nephew, in chat goes, Guys, to make Odd feel better, we played basketball once and I got destroyed. It was me and two of my friends versus Odd and one of my neighbors, and we got destroyed. That's right. We beat him two on three. I'm also twice their size, but whatever. Doesn't matter, right? I think it's still a valid win. Two on three. <laughs> That's funny. AG Speeds is definitely a better gamer than me. 100%. Ooh, cool. That's really neat. Guess we live here now. So this will be how to get out, I guess. Display model. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Bolted, you say. It appears to be yo-yo string. Well, I'll just take a little. Bolted? I don't have anything that could get rid of any bolts. I think it's yo-yo string. Unless I break it off with a shovel. I can't dig that, daddy. <laughs> I love that. I can't dig that, daddy. Spider lungs. No thanks. I don't need it. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. They're unlabeled. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. No thanks. I don't need it. Okay, so we got some string. I think it's yo-yo string. Yo-yo string. Nice. One of my favorites. And then we have a skull that's bolted Display to the model. table. That's sick. Okay, so this I can't even use on anything. I don't want to polish that. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. Oh, you want to see old view there? I should I should look at this more often. Oh, can we go here? Oh, hello. Guy oh, three. look it who it been is! A long time since you last came to see me, Madame. Do I know you from somewhere? She's Voodoo ah, Lady. Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the Voodoo Anti-Root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, She yeah, was very yeah, instrumental. Remember. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight, although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Uh, yeah, Bloxy. Wish it was possible to play old graphics but with voice acting. In, in the second one, you can. For some reason, not in the first. But as an example. 
what kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Yes. Uh, maybe. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, Ooh. that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Do you have I'm taking any down of those notes. ingredients with you? I have some of his spit. I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? No. I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. Very cool. Okay, so we need something clothing, hair, uh, and a corpse remnant from a from a relative. Alright. I did write it down, yeah, I'm a master at writing things down and remembering them. Yes, sir, e Bob. Don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Good night, Eva. Thank you so much for coming by. We'll see you next time. Okay, we check out the cemetery, we check out the peninsula, and then we go back to Woodtick, unless these lead us somewhere else. But we kind of have our main goal right now for the voodoo doll. You guys ever seen a bat in real life? I actually think they're kind of endearing. I don't think I would touch one. You're not supposed to touch bats, but like if you could, if it was cool, I still don't think I would touch one. But like the wing I feel would touch like, I feel like the wing feels like, you know, in between your fingers or something. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Warning, quarantine tomb. Oh. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Great, green tongue fever. Stands casual crossing for grades that don't need to dress up. No. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. No. Tell me Stan doesn't run the cemetery. The Ricketts. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity. Not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. So this will probably be where we get the corpse remnant. It looks like it's been sealed shut. The quagmires. No trespassing. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the earth can hold them. The Grouts. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Okay, so they're all sealed. So maybe I gotta work with like These spots uh, reserved Stan. for our privileged future customers. Oh. Here lies Daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood. Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. No man commanded jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. Oh, dark. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, he bred. <laughs> okay, so this is the one we need. Nice. This is creepy feeling. Do it. Well, that's not ominous. A 
femur. I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. See that toupee in there? I'm thinking that's where we're going to end up getting his hair. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something and something. Okay, remember how you guys were saying in the first one that um, dot or period would skip the sentence? It does it here. So that's good. Gross. Gross. Okay, guys, we're absolutely flying. So far, zero challenge so far. Not, this is, this is, kid, this is child's play, this game. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna platinum this. Probably in an hour. I'm gonna immediately deliver that back to the swamp. You're a beast. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. My KDA in this game is going to be huge. Keep going. Just go all the way. Come on. Inside the shack. Good thing we're playing on Mega Monkey. <laughs> yeah, we're playing on the hardest difficulty, Mega Monkey. Have you brought me any more ingredients? Have I ever. I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. And here I am thinking that have would be you difficult. Have any other ingredients? No. I'll bring you more later. So more thread more clothing, maybe his room. Uh, head from hair, I'm thinking the toupee. But we also have something to do with the laundromat guy. So maybe he's somehow involved. David. Okay, David. Thanks again, dude. Five gifted. My god, man. That's so kind. Thanks. William Barry, Buddy Love, New Tech, Andre, and The Gentleman all got gifted by David. Thanks, man. That's super, super generous. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want more people to enjoy this. That's so nice, man. Okay. Let's go. See, I'm, 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 should I pixel hunt here? Let's just do a round of pixel hunting just to see. We have some pretty clear landmarks. Looks like that's about it. Whose boat is this? It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Okay. So they were correct. This is Captain Dredd's place where we could get a boat. But I need 20 pieces of eight, which I definitely don't have. We're 19 shy, but with interest, I could invest that and have it ready in about 25 years. Seems reasonable. I love a house with that nautical look. Captain Dredd is chilling. There's nothing else in here? Wow. These are cool. Are you Captain Dredd? Yeah, man. I'm Captain Dredd. <laughs> yeah, what man. can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. Add that to the I list. can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. What did he say about the necklace? Oh, no. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man, but my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs, <laughs> and I've kept it as a good luck job. Oh. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Is that the head? Unlikely. Navi dreads. 
Tang's mind. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Eye that has Besides, seen the world. Lago has an embargo on the island. I that has seen the world. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Okay, so again. it seems like here, this is literally it. Somebody asked a uh, classic saying, does the highlight of clickable objects present in the old view? No, it doesn't. Doesn't seem to. Too bad, so sad. That's definitely a little bit of a, a difficulty modifier towards making it a bit easier. In a point and click, usually it's like, you know, you could miss a little thing here and there, but for somebody like me, I'm okay with it. Okay. Now I need to go back to the main place and we need to figure out how I'm gonna get the thread, or sorry, the clothing and the hair. And then I need to find this necklace with an eye that has seen the world. Fun times. An eye that has seen the world. <gasps> no, guys, I think I already got that. I, I think I already got that. Because I was thinking, oh, cartographer, because he's done all the maps and seen the world and the eye that has seen the world and I was like oh may we take his eye and then I forgot we got the we got the monocle I'm just gonna give it to him right now that's got to be it and if it's not I swear to god if that's not correct I'm gonna lose my shit prepare because <laughs> it's got to be a hundred percent even look at it well it's not really necklacy everything looks all blurry okay this might not work but I really hope that it does that would be the bee's knees. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? Not much, I guess. Why can't I cover your <laughs> ship? Like I said before, Because he still has that embargo. Margo has an embargo on the island. All right, so. I gotta run. Whatever. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. So I can cross the necklace Bye, off my list. Come again. Good. But we still got to solve this. We need. We got to get the voodoo doll so we can somehow deal with him. And then he can't have the embargo on the island. And then we can be like, see you later. We can go to the Fat City Library, probably. Because that was a thing that I wrote down. That seems good. Things are clicking right now. Things are clicking. Juniper, thanks for the eight months. Hey, look, my message stands out. Neat. Yeah, yeah, it does. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, and we need money. We do need money, but I feel like we have to get the... We have to put the swamp water in the thing, and then we get the job, and then he'll pay us the money, and then we get the money. That's that's my prediction for how this is all going to go down. Did I spoil the whole thing? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Pat Cats, thank you so much. You guys, all these memberships today is freaking wild. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Very generous. I hate bitchy swaz. God damn it. It's still not working. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Spit encrusted paper. Oh, well, maybe I can use this now. It's too soggy. Nope. I can't wait to figure out what's going in the Vichy Swa. That's going to be awesome. Okay, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Is he still in his room? Probably. How am I going to get him out of his room? I don't know. Is maybe this guy will be back too. Nope, alligator guy still gone. I don't need any more. Oh, 
Oh, he's not in here. Yoink! I don't like styrofoam. It's bad for the environment. Nice. That's a good point. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. Why not? Nice. <laughs> it's back there. Nice. It's already open. It's empty. They look pretty old. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. They look pretty old. Largo could be back any minute. Messy, messy, messy. Okay, so there's no clothes in here as far as I can tell. This could be like a hiding thing, possibly, because he does like go behind there. I don't like to get naked there. in other men's rooms. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. There's strange little white bugs Ew! all over. Ew! I don't like that. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. Go away! Oh, okay. Yep. I was just leaving. See ya. So we're on a bit of a timer in there. I mean, okay, I got the, the hair. But I don't have the clothing. And I can't get any clothing in there. The only other clothing thing is the laundry guy. So maybe I could, like, bribe him or something? Let's talk to Mad Marty. I got a laundry-type question. I got a laundry-type question. Shoot. Nope. Actually, nothing. I lied. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. <laughs> I didn't think you would. I said you had sweet toes. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? Oh, yeah. So this is how I could get it. If, if I could get a claim ticket that belonged to Largo, then I could probably claim his clothes. His clothes. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you, but I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Okay. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? It was stolen. Taking a bowling was a dumb thing to do. <laughs> Oops. I thought I, I wanted okay. to talk to you. This is definitely going to be the I way. Don't. However. Oh. Nice. Did I try this before? It won't fit in my pocket. I feel like we're trying to get the rat in there, maybe. Maybe I can get the rat in there, and then I put the rat in his room, and he's scared of rats, and he runs away, and then I go into his room, and I can peruse or something. But, like, I feel like I perused the room already. We saw the alligator like these. Did that work? Yes. It did. Nice. Now get in there. Come on, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. We got a little stick. Did I ever tell you guys about how I had to trap my own hamster? back in the day. I have a really good story that fits with this. I actually have two hamster stories. One is really cool, and one is really sad and disgusting. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, what? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so now he's just gonna trap himself, right? When he eats the squigglies. Yeah. Got him. I'll just wait. You want to hear the disgusting one? Okay, but it's also sad. Uh, so, back in the day, I was probably, let's say, 10. Uh, we used to live in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And my dad would have to travel to Regina sometimes for work. And so sometimes he would take my brother and I with him. And my mom would stay home. And 
Uh, at this time, we had hamsters. My brother and I both had one, okay? And, uh... If you've never had a hamster before, they're cute. They're like, they're not like mice, they're not like rats. They're kind of like friendlier, more cuddly versions. I, I think they gross me out now, but I don't know. Anyway, so uh, we're driving home from one of these trips with my dad. And uh, my mom calls and she, she asks to talk to me. And I'm like, hey mom, how's it going? I'm like, how's Hammy? That was what I named my hamster. <laughs> so that's very creative. And, uh, she's like, well, son, that's actually why I'm calling. And she had tears. She was holding back tears, I could tell. And I was like, what happened? She's like, well, Hammy's not here any longer. And I said, okay. Uh, why? And then she said, your brother's hamster ate your hamster. <laughs> And I was like, Pourquoi? Pourquoi? What? She had walked in to like feed the hamsters and literally saw one full hamster, very full hamster, and one half hamster. I didn't ever get to have to see it. But she saw that. <laughs> and then she had to call her 10-year-old son and tell him that his hamster was just a stir. So, yeah. Rip. Okay, well, how do I get this guy in here, man? One of my favorites. That doesn't seem to work. What's the trick? There must be more to this. That doesn't seem to work. Oh! Oh! Look at this! Okay, check this out. I'm setting the trap, aren't I? That's funny. Poor guy. It won't fit in my pocket. Nice. Won't fit in my. What am I gonna do with this now? Nice. We have all of our stuff back. I can't dig that, Daddy. I don't want to polish that. It's too soggy. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. No. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. It would take forever to hack through it with this knife. I can't dig that, Daddy. I don't think I should do that. Let's think about this, guys. Let's think about this. I got the rat in the box. What does that do for me? I thought I could pick up the box, but no, I can't do that. What else could I have missed that I could pick up or something? And like, why do I still have the wood polish? Like, where does this come in? Oh, maybe I could put the rat Okay, what if, hold on, what if I just take the rat out of here? Is that a possibility? Nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just take the rat. Okay. I'm, I'm overthinking it, but I got it. I figured it out. I figured it out. Now, the rat could do one of two things. A, maybe in the room, or the rat could go into the soup. Since nothing else could go in there, I'm willing, <laughs> I'm willing to see if he goes into the soup. Okay. Chat, I see a lot of messages getting removed, okay? I know. Try your best. Try your best. Try, just try your best. I know it's hard, but try not to spoil stuff. I want to chat with the chat. I want, I want to chat. And if I get really stuck, I'll be like, chat, what do I do? Tell me, you know? But like, try to, 
just hold back so I can still talk to the chat. And then, you know what I'm saying? Please tell me that the rat goes in here. The thing is, it's a cold soup. <laughs> okay. Wow, he's definitely getting fired. Vichyswa avec rat. Okay. That doesn't seem to work. Can I open the stove? I'm no cook. It's already closed. I'm gonna go out this way and be like, yo, this dude's got rats in the soup. Might see me. Okay, no, we won't do that. I'm not gonna do that. Not a hint, but whack the rat with a shovel. Oh, maybe maybe he'll only get mad if it's a dead rat. Yeah, that could be, that could be. Okay, so how do I get this guy fired now, though? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Oh. Hey, uh... Oh, we just order it. Tonight? We're just gonna order it. Stu? How gosh. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. We were talking about game guides the other day, David. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh, he's gonna taste oh it. Oh my gosh! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out so now, out what I'm thinking... We're... This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, uh yeah, I'm, I'm really good. not that hungry anymore. Yeah, I'm good. Dang. Hey, can you cook? Yes, I a can. Little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on now, that how much apron are we talking? and get to work. Okie dokie. Oh, 421. I'm rich. Okay, now what do I do? Now I could probably open this. I have the stick. I'm no cook. Bro, we literally are, though. Yuck, the rat's been swimming in it. Ugh, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. I hate fruit cocktail. I hate hate fruit cocktail. All right, fine. I'll tell you what. We're going to sneak out on work. It's our first day. That's good. I am going to take the money to the uh, captain. And on the way, we'll drop off the toupee and we'll just see what happens. Because that's all I that's all I can think of right now. So that's all I'm going to do. Four twenty plus one piece of eight for the polish. Oh yeah, that's true. So he paid us four hundred and twenty. Weird. What do you think that means? Ten dollars fifty two cents an hour. I just did that in my head. Just kidding. brought me any more ingredients? Yes, ma'am. I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Do you have the final ingredient? I'll bring it later. Good. Now go. If you're wondering why I keep rotating my head, <laughs> but my neck is sore for some reason. Oh. 
Like, I just kind of, I wish I could, like, crack my neck right now. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, it, could, if it could just, like, I'd be like, oh. I just feel like that sense of relief. That's what I want, but I don't have it. This makes you want to take up the flute. Become a flautist? Is that what it's called? A flautiste? It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, on? I've got the monies. Oh, yeah, but I gotta get rid of the guy. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. <laughs> what a waste of time. As soon as I got here, I was like, yeah. I gotta get rid of the guy first. Okay. So I've got money now. I've got big money. 421 pieces of eight to be exact. I'm thinking... I don't know. But I could maybe buy a steamy weenie if it was open. But, like, I don't think it is. That would, that's the only thing I can think of with money. Maybe I could, maybe I could like coerce the laundry guy. I could maybe do something with the, um, the hotel. These are all the thoughts that I'm thinking. Okay. But I don't think I'm getting in here. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Wait, do I have a way into stuff? Hold on. I didn't even think about this. If I just break in there and get these guys a steamy weenie. I don't even care, really. It just a. I can't dig that, Daddy. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the mud. I don't want to polish that. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, fine. Frick. Okay, okay, fine. Did it say how much you had at the beginning, or is it just marked as treasure? Um, the beginning was all marked as treasure. Before he stole it from me, you mean? Boom, boom, boom. I wonder if there's anything I could do with this guy, because I have money, but I don't think we've ever talked about money with him. <clears throat> yeah. I'd like to look around. Sure thing. So I, I can look around, but it doesn't help me with anything. I can't move it. I can't move it. Wait. What? I can use the hammer on something? That doesn't seem to work. What do you think you're doing? It's not a toy. That's interesting. That I can use the hammer... I'm not holding it. I'm not holding it. Okay. So it even gives me stuff that I might be able to do before I pick it up. <laughs> Double S, what's up? Thank you so much. Thanks for the $10 super chat. That's super generous, man. I appreciate that. Thanks. Hope you're having a fun time. Let's visit the cartographer quick. For crying out loud. Nice map. I can't reach it. Thanks. I hope it didn't roll onto the floor. Hi, Wally. Who's there? <laughs> I can't see anything without Hi, my monocle. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps. Who couldn't? What kind of map? Every kind of pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. Oh. And there's not a part of it I haven't that's down the, on That's the that's the hint for Maps the monocle. Are very, very important. The eyes that see the whole world. Okay, interesting. Actually I prefer That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer <laughs> joke. Bad one. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Okay, now hold on. Now that he can't see I can't see me... believe somebody would steal it. I'd go for help, but I'm afraid to walk around like this. It's too small. I'm stuck here forever. I'm gonna starve to death in here. That doesn't seem to work. For some reason, I was—I just had a thought. If I combined one of these with string, it could alone. resemble his monocle. Why me? What is that? I can't see a thing. 
All I want is my monocle. I never hurt anyone. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. Let's take one of these, maybe? Rats! Okay, so I have another piece of paper. It's blank. This stinks! If I don't find it soon, I'm going to lose all the monocle-grabbing muscles in my eye. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. <laughs> Here, monocle. Here, I can't boy. be sure, but I'm pretty sure all Crud. he wants is his monocle. We'll grab some more cheese squigglies. Spit encrusted paper. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to polish that. I don't want to dull the blade. Ugh. Oh, yuck. Wait. I just combined paper with spit encrusted paper for some reason. It's blank and kind of soggy. It's too soggy. It's too soggy. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna go back and see if I can maybe just throw paper on it to like make it less soggy. I don't even know why though. I don't know why I'm doing that, but it seems like that's doing something. Rats! Can't I do anything right? Ugh, oh, yuck. It's a pile of blank paper. Ugh, oh, yuck. <laughs> I can't believe somebody would steal it. Ugh. Oh, yuck. Okay, I'm thinking it's this is not going paper. anywhere. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, yuck. It's too soggy. It's too I hope soggy. I didn't lose it. I'm gonna die hungry, blind. Okay, that's not doing anything. Okay, back to work. Back to work. Back to work. Okay, let's see if I can go into his room again. We need a piece of clothing. It's already open. It says it's open, but like it's not. It's a bit on the tattered side. It's a bit on the tattered side. I feel like maybe there's something in that painting. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. Nice. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, they never really have understood art. Yeah, but what's the trick here? That doesn't seem to work. It's too soggy. I don't think that'll work. That doesn't seem to work. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. Can't dig that, Daddy. I don't want to polish that. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Okay. We've been cruising up till this point, and now... Less cruising. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Largo could be back any minute. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a hint. Still missing one of the ingredients. Really? Okay. Let me, uh, I'm gonna pop out to the right side since Largo is not in his room. And maybe he's there? Maybe I can run into him somewhere else? The hint was not wrong. No, it, it was on. Okay, no, I don't think so. And there's nothing to do up here, eh? Okay, let's take another hint. Are you shitting me? Okay, so we're on the right track. We're on the right track. There's a hint in Largo's room that somehow I am missing. Oh, did we say when we're looking at the junk on the thing that we're not going to touch that? Maybe we can use the stick or the shovel to like... 
find something in there, and then I bet you that's going to be a, we're going to find a ticket for the clothing guy, and then we give it to that dude, and then we got the clothing, and then and we voodoo doll him, and then we get off the island, right? Tell me if I'm right. Don't tell me if I'm right. Don't tell me if I'm right, actually. Don't want to know. They look pretty old. I'd better not touch them. I better it looks not... like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. I better not touch them. That doesn't seem to work. I can't dig that, Daddy. Shit. My Scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. That doesn't seem to work. I can't dig that, Daddy. I can't dig that, Daddy. My Scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. That doesn't seem to work. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. It's too soggy. It's blank and kind of soggy. That doesn't seem to work. Nice. Get out! I was just leaving. I haven't used this. I saw I saw that before it got removed. I haven't used this. You're right. You're right. I have not used something this. Something of the thread. Something of the head. Something of the body, and something of the dead. What are you doing in here again? Okay. 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 I'm gonna go through every item. Uh, what's the general goal right now? You've missed some. The general goal is to get the last item needed to make the voodoo doll. I need to get some piece of his clothing. Which I feel is gonna be like a pickup ticket for the laundromat guy, because he's got a bunch of clothing, whatever. But uh, the hint system told me that I need to find a hint in his room. And there's a bit of a timer because he comes in and kicks me out. And then chat said I, there's an item in my inventory that Get I... Get out of my room! There's an item in my inventory that I haven't used yet in there, which I think is pretty shocking. I haven't used the money, I don't think. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go in here for a second to see if he, like, leaves. We have three of the four. Yeah, I, I know. I said I need one more thing. We need the, uh, the clothing. Yuck. The rat's been swimming in it. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. The fire's out. I'm no cook. The barkeep would be mad if I left work early. I'm not interacting with one of the highlighted objects. We've done the bed, the dressing stand, the dresser, the... Uh, oh! Maybe... I, I, I kind of assume that all his... The junk on his table is all one thing. But maybe I have to check each one. Maybe I gotta check each one. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. I'd better not touch them. I'd better not touch them. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Okay. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. And it's already open. But that's such a lie. I don't like styrofoam. It's bad for the environment. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I can't dig that, Daddy. It's too soggy. I don't think that'll work. That doesn't seem to work. Something of the thread. Oh, this of just the head. the okay, so I can't use that. That doesn't seem to work. 
That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I don't want to polish that. Go away! I was just leading. Soil his clothes and then take him to the laundry. Soil his clothes. Okay, that I didn't think of. The only thing I could think of is... Oh, the mud. Okay, that's why we have the mud. It all makes so much sense! I'm fine. But I didn't see his clothes there. I see his bed. Maybe I can throw mud in his bed and then he lays in his bed? Did I not try mud in the bed? <laughs> I guess pro I probably not. Probably not. Probably not. I don't think that'll work. Oh, I swear to God, dude. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. What? I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Yeah. What? It doesn't seem to stay closed. Everything has been so smooth up until this point. Everything's been like logical and cool and everything's made sense where we could like be like, oh yeah, that's great. You know what it is? It's not even the hint, it's not even the object highlighting. It's the fact that I would never in a million years thought let's click the bu the the bucket of mud and click on the door. Never would I have thought about that. It makes sense. Yes. It makes sense now that the bucket's on the door. But before that, no. You can't tell me no. I think I hear Largo coming. I refuse. <laughs> hey, what the hell? What's going on? Maybe the maybe what? the trick is because he's been coming in, I'm supposed to think, "Oh, I should close the door." And then you'd be like, "Oh, now that the door's closed, maybe you're starting to think about it." But I'll give you that. This is gonna I'll give you pay. that. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's going to be real sorry. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Steamed. It's already open. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm never coming back to this room again. That painting, man. I swear I thought the painting was going to be something. Okay, so his clothes are soiled. Which means his clothes are getting cleaned here. But I still am going to need to convince this guy to give me those clothes somehow. You're oh, he's making here. me mad, Marty. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight. Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said... I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. 
or else. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I lost it while being keel-hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you try I'm to just getting rid of all these options. Ants? I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay. Well, um... Hey, I don't launder money <laughs> here. Try investing in a casino. Okay. Hey guys. Nice. That doesn't seem to work. Huh, I can do this again. Interesting. I have no rat to catch. But in theory, I could do this, right? I lost my Cheez-Its. There they are. Okay. What do I need to do here? It's sparkly clean. No ticket, no laundry. What would I do with that? 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 Something of the thread, something of the something and some What would I do with that? That doesn't seem to work. What would I do with that? It's too soggy. What would I do with that? Okay. Now, okay, you know what? I'm going to go back to his room now that he's dropped this off. And I'm just going to see if he's got his thing in there. Maybe maybe he's got his, his pickup chip in there. And I was right this whole time. Please be. Please be correct. It's empty. It's already open. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Oh, you son of a bitch! Sorry, it's fine. Of course, of course it was the door. Oh, that's... Fuck, that is... Hmm! <laughs> I'm trying not to swear too much, because that is very annoying. <laughs> that was, At least I got it relatively quick. Yeah. <laughs> God. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Now, where was it? I found the treasure of Monkey Island, I think that said. Ah, here it comes. <laughs> uh, okay, is that what I think it is? Nice April fresh scent. 
Not my size. I mean, I guess, yeah. Whatever. It's 2022. Whatever. Okay, we take it to the swamp. We make the voodoo doll. We figure out how to make the voodoo doll. We get rid of the guy. We sail off. Game over. I just had a weird sensation. I just had a weird sensation I was wearing glasses. And I was like trying to poke them up. I do that once every like month or two. It's such a weird feeling. How many acts are there in, in this second one? Do I miss my glasses? No, I actually love that I don't have them. Have you brought me the final ingredient? Yes, I have. I have this pearly white bra. Four? Yes, that will work. It is like your glasses become At amputated, last. like a phantom thing now that you're so I used to. Make a voodoo doll to be reckoned but what's what's with. more weird is how And now for the ingredients. I haven't had glasses for such a long time now, but every head. once in a while just a and a you're like what? piece of Lago's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. She must be big brain like me, Dario. Some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. <laughs> MSG. That's good. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Is MSG still bad? Where are we? Where are we at with the MSG? Hey, that and looks why just is like it bad? Thanks, voodoo lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. Uh -oh. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. I can just hang out in this room, right? Until he comes back. Oh, I got pins too. I think Largo's out of voodoo range. Okay. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. MSG is fine. It was all humbug. Do you guys remember, though, back in, like, the 2000s? Everyone was like, MSG's bad. But it literally makes everything taste better. But I, I remember that being a thing. Kind of like how salt is bad, but everyone uses salt. It's probably a little different. I can't think of, like... I've never made anything with MSG myself. But I'm sure, like... I know, uh... Chinese food is the main thing that... It's known to have a lot of MSG. But I remember restaurants used to advertise, like, No MSG it was, like, this big thing. It was everywhere. Hey! What are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. No! <laughs> Take that, you That's stuffy actually little dim-witted toad. Kind of dark. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Keep People stabbing. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... No! What? No! <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? 
You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. Really? She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Oh, really? Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! Oh! Some pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. And this is how LeChuck's revenge happens. Got it. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have oh. any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten. Partially decomposed. Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. <laughs> Undoubtedly. And now the game has finally begun. Can you give me something to protect me? He has magic just as strong as mine. Nothing I could give you would protect you. But there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. <laughs> I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. We learned about Raph that. Raph Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! Wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Yes. Raph Scallion later tell. opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. His boat was leaning? Okay, so I got Rapscallion, Young Lindy, Mr. Rogers, and Captain Marley. Let's go. I didn't know that the MSG uh, topic would cause up such controversy. I'd love to see it. I think Sniff, I, do you feel very passionately about this? It's like, oh, should I, should I bring up the A word? Should I bring up the A word? Do you guys want to talk about aspartame? <laughs> Ankles. <clears throat> It's funny how certain things people get really rattled about. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, on? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lagos been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. 
Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Yeah, I got Actually, way I more. That much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. <laughs> hey, easy game. Part one done. Four map pieces. Okay. Okay. Deep in the Caribbean. There are some new studies out on that block T. storm lies... Correct. Le Chuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With Oh, he's gonna make a guy brush doll. I'm off to find Big Whoop. Really, David again with the super chat. David, you're a legend, man. Thank you so much. So kind. Mm. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. It's empty. What about with an empty bag? It has a picture of a parrot on the front. Cool. Okay. Guess we'll find out one day. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? The Jolly Rasta. This reminds me of Cool Runnings. Greatest movie of all time. I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. No. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Don't want to be there. Then there's Booty Island. Yes. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. We're definitely it's going to Booty Island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. <laughs> Here, take this easy-to-read reference map. Courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Okay, cool. We're going to Booty. See the little red line there? That's us. <laughs> Who cares? Pick up anything that isn't nailed down. Yeah, exactly. We're taking a very strange route. Click in random places? You can't. Well, maybe you could have before, but. Look, our ride was cheap, you know? You get what you pay for. All right. Booty Island. Crack. <laughs> Please. Please crack. The sign says the Booty Boutique, <laughs> Mementos, Souvenirs, Artifacts. I'm going in. The Booty Boutique. We've reached it. Oh my god, there's so many things! Nice shop you got here. Thanks! I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. <laughs> he looks like he's really into this stuff. Check out these balls. <laughs> They're made of a fine iron cast. There's so many quotables. I'd like to buy these cannonballs. I just keep those here because they're cool. They're not for sale. Right. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. 
I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. I'd like to buy that. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? Well, I can't afford that much. Too bad. Okay. Isn't he a beautiful parrot? He's preoccupied with his reflection. Mr. Polly likes that mirror. Yeah, he seems to be in love with his reflection. He likes it where it is. I don't want to make that parrot mad. I got that as a gift from a man I saved a few years ago. Don't have much use for a wheel, but he said one good turn deserves another. I'd like to buy this bosun's wheel. I only have one of those, so I need to keep it as a display model. <laughs> this is the worst salesman I've ever seen in my life. The bag is empty. It's said that the infamous Greenbeard won that barrel from Long John Cooper in a poker game. Shame that it's empty. I'd like to buy this treasure chest. I only have one of those, so I need to keep it as a display model. Seeing a theme here? I'd like to buy this barrel. That's one of my favorite things in the <laughs> store, but I don't have enough back stock to sell it. Yeah, how's that volume? I'd like to buy this ship's horn. I see you have an eye for quality. That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Oh, there we go. I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to see literally everything that I could possibly Made buy. Made in Hong Kong. Made in Hong Kong. <laughs> okay. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Be oh, here we go. We found the items he's actually selling. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Maybe the hint is that I, I could right click on it and I could use it, and that's the. I'd like to buy those are the things I could buy. Yeah, I like that too, but it's not for sale. So I can use that. It says, "Beware of parrot." I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, oh. that sign's not for sale. Oh. Yes, I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, so there's something to do with this parrot at some okay, point. Okay, I'll take that it. That we know. We have, the, we have the bag for the Thank feed, you. but we need to put something in the bag. Well, I'd like to buy this mask. That's great. <laughs> this is how a hoarder would run a store. Yeah, he's horrible businessman. I'd like to buy these gross skulls. I just couldn't part with those. They have sentimental value. Oh, there's a hook. It's firmly attached to the wall. Huh. That's an authentic pirate's fish hook. Found it inside a crocodile who was too petered out to move. It's firmly attached to the wall. I don't think I should cut that. Beware of parrot. If we could get that uh, hammer from the wood shop, I could probably pry that out of the wall, but maybe that's for later. Indy's whip. I get that reference. I'd like to buy Indy's whip. That's one of my favorite things in the store, but I don't have enough back stock to sell it. I'd like to buy this left turn sign. That's one of my oh, you want to favorite see the OG? things yeah, in the store. But I don't have enough back stock to sell it. You'd look good in one of those. And they're great for parties. I'd like to buy these pirate hats. Excellent choice. They are 30 pieces of eight each. Okay, so I'm I, I'm probably okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. I'm probably building like I'm gonna I'm gonna dress as like go. a, a Thank you. stereotypical pilot with a parrot or something at some point for some reason. I'd like to buy this anchor. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. I'd like to buy these tiki lights. I just keep those here because they're cool. They're not for sale. I'd like to buy this thing. 
Yeah, I like that too, but it's not for sale. Well, I'd like to buy this small picture frame. Yeah, I like that too, but it's not for sale. He likes it where it is. I'd like to buy these tiki lights. I just keep those here because they're cool. They're not for sale. Feather pen? I'd like to buy this feather pen. I see you have an eye for quality. That'll be 10 pieces of eight. Money is no object. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. What is there for sale? Uh, we we bought it. We actually bought a decent amount now. Pretty surprised. I'd like to buy this whale painting. Yeah, I like that too. But it's not for sale. That's I'd sneaky. like to buy this wreath. Alrighty. That'll be 20 pieces of eight. If we didn't have that object highlight, that that wreath is dangerous. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. I'd like to buy this cannon. Yeah, I like that too, but it's not for sale. Elvis. I'd like to buy this rock and roll collector's plate. Great. That'll be 199 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. That's expensive, yo. Here you go. Thank you. How much money do I even have? 72. I'd like to buy these hubcaps. Excellent choice. They're 50 pieces of 8 each. Each? Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. This might make a nice wall hanging. I always wanted one of these. It's never too early to prepare for the holidays. Just like the pen from Mom and Dad's wedding. Inspected by 27. Beware of parrot. It may be old, but it's still shiny and sharp. Made in Hong Kong. I'd like to buy these hubcaps. You already bought the last one I have for sale. Ooh, I eye need patches. to keep at least one for a display model. I'd like to buy these eye patches. I just keep those here because they're cool. They're not for sale. Okay. Oh, I'd like to buy this vase. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. Chat, is there anything to your eye that I have missed? I don't think so. I'd like to buy this barrel. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. It's empty. I think that's everything. <clears throat> we tried the mirror, yep. Well, the hook I, I can't seem to get. That doesn't seem to work. Nah, I have a thing about lice. No ink. Nothing much to write about anyway. I don't have a use for it. Soil the king's image? Sacrilege! As what? A hat? outside, will ya? As what? A hat? The only thing I can interact with? No, I have a thing about life. Is the horn, no the saw, to write about anyway. the sign. Well, I paid for it. I don't have to put it back. That's it. Buy his collection of NFTs. God damn it. The hook? Okay. How do I get the hook off of here, though? I'm pretty sure I can't just destroy his shop. Can't dig that, Daddy. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I don't want to polish that. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, maybe I could... Oh, interesting. Hold on. I already have too many of those. Wait, cheese grater? Where'd this come from? I'd like to buy this thing. That's one of my favorite things in the store. But I don't have enough Oh, it's back switching for some reason. Where's the short... There's a sword... Sheath. It's not mine to use. Do you take credit? 
Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. Trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you okay, accept? Okay, here we go. I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. Which is? <laughs> what would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk, and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Figurehead from sunken ship. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why, but the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. I have to go now. No thanks. It's too soggy. What about this piece of paper? No thanks. No thanks. He said old swords. No thanks. No. What about a knife? That's kind of sword-like. No thanks. What about this stick? No thanks. These cheese squigglies. No thanks. This voodoo doll. I tried that. What with voodoo pins? No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. You son of a bitch. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I know there's this hook here, but I don't have a I don't I, I don't have a way of I don't know how to get that. If if I do know how, if I can get it, the parrot. Um. Oh, maybe I can put this on the mirror. That doesn't seem to work. It's a good idea. I don't think it would want that. He would want a cracker. Oh, maybe some squiggles. I don't think it would want that. No, nope, wouldn't want that. I don't think it would want that. Okay, let's explore the rest, and I'll come back. There's clearly something else going on in there, though. Okay, old man. Hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Oh, you want to have a horn off? Again? Hey, old man. How about blowing off the cannon? <laughs> how about just blowing off? <laughs> my name is Augustus DeWatt, not old man. And this cannon is for official purposes only. How about just blowing off? You like that? It sounds like the mail boat. I'd better fire the cannon. Oh. That ought to do it. Of course, I don't see no mail boat. Okay, what's this doing? Well, where's the mail boat? Thought I heard it. I see. Huh. Okay. So I can. Gee, I wonder if it's loaded. It didn't look loaded. Hey. Don't touch that. We only set that off when the mail boat comes in. Weird. Okay. Hello again. Eh, what was that? You don't have a brother named Marty, do you? Boy, the only Marty I know is Mardi Gras. <laughs> nice. Who? Mardi Gras. It's a joke, boy, a joke. You are here for Mardi Gras, aren't you? Oh. We are on Booty Island. Hey, if it's a party, I'm there. Well, if it's a party you're looking for, I hear Governor Marley is having some super shindig up at her mansion. Okay, well, that's good. Marley? Huh, that's funny. I used to date a Governor Marley. Oh, sure. And I'll bet you helped her beat LeChuck, too. He's not going to believe me. Don't laugh. I've got the proof right here. Whip out the In beard. My Whoops. Um. Hey, hey, kid. It's okay. Mardi Gras is the time for fantasy. Now just run along and enjoy yourself.
Is there anything off? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Oh, stands. Sunken galleons. Sunken um, galleons. I'm dreading it. See the world. Oh boy. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone. Or on reserve. Sorry. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. I'd really, <laughs> really like to rent a costume. Look, if you don't have a reservation, you don't have a costume. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a Five Island radius. That'll do and it. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. You look busy. I'll come back later. Okay, so obviously we're going to come here at some point to get something. I should check with the shopkeeper first. I had one like that when I was a kid. I don't know what it is, but it sure is ugly. This is really nice. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's get a sense Duncan of things Gallions. we can try. See the world. Glass bottom boat. Huh. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Oh! We heard about her. At the start. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first maid on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried She was one of the surviving, uh, island. whatever. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. I hope your luck is better. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass bottom boat around here. Chat's all Pretty saying soon to I'm pick off her up. Bad island to okay, try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces oh of eight. Oh my god. It's like so expensive. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. <laughs> Do you give credit? <laughs> Wasn't one of the... Was it the cannonball that was six million or something like that? I don't have that much. I guess you'd better find some more then, huh? So Cruises. we need something expensive. We need to get tour. into a lot of money somehow. Glass bottom boat. Check it out. What's a nice girl like you doing in a <laughs> place like this? Trying to avoid guys like you. <laughs> Three hour tours. Come here often? Oh Once no. Too often, obviously. Check it's like it sword fighting all over again. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You'll have to wait longer than that to pick me up. Sunken galleons. You know, they call me the Bone Master. I'm surprised anyone calls you at all. <laughs> Cruises. You know, I could really fall for a girl like you. Hopefully off a cliff. Damn, she's boat. cold. What's your sign? No trespassing. Three-hour tours. How'd you like to come up and see my etchings? How'd you like a nice fruit punch? Weak. Sightseeing. Wanna feel my muscles? Call me when you find one. <laughs> Glass bottom boat. Has anyone ever told you you have beautiful eyes? Has anyone ever swallowed that line? Cruises. Wanna see my scar? I've seen the bottomies, thanks. <laughs> Sunken galleons. Let's get out of here and go someplace where we can... How call. many are there? Preferably long distance. Sunken galleons. If I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Just the part with the knuckles. Glass bottom boat. Aren't you a famous model? Aren't you a famous jerk? She's very Sighting. patient. Want to help me search for buried treasure? How would you like to be buried treasure? See the world. You look like a pretty classy babe. You must be a stewardess. <laughs> I guess I was wrong when I thought you couldn't possibly be as dumb as you look. Three-hour tours. What are you looking at? Check it out. You'd be in good hands with me, baby. You can go be in your own hands, creep. Sunken galleons. I think she'd slug me. I think she'd slug me. 
Cruises. Cruises. What? <laughs> Glass bottom boat. Cruises. Glass bottom boat. What? That's good. See the world. Let's get out of here and go someplace where we can talk. Preferably long distance. Sunken I think we get galleons. it. Three hour tour. Oh, he's selling previously owned. Sunken galleons. That's a deal. Three hour tours. There Howdy. he is. Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? <laughs> Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck. Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Right. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came <laughs> to the right place. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing. When you first walked in here, I said, now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal. Right I'm eyeing the key you. on the crypts thing. Let's go take Oh, he just measured us. That's funny. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Close yes, it. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. I almost <laughs> forgot. It I worked. wanted you to have this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Now, where were we? Oh yeah. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Sure, sure. Try out the lid. I can't. Operations. I can't. I have no mouse. Just as roomy clothes. Can I show you anything else? Damn it. Could you show me that coffin again? Hey, anything you say. I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. Look at how freely I can wiggle my toes. Can I show you anything else? I might need to weigh down the coffin or something so we can't get out. How much is that coffin? Well, it's complicated. Pricing here at Stands works on a sliding scale based on one's ability to pay, so as to make a decent mm. funeral affordable to even our poorest customers. That's very considerate of you. So, how much dough do you have on you? I don't have much. I see. I think cremation might be more appropriate in this instance. Didn't you used to be a used ship salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. Is that the LucasArts logo on the right there? Do you do funerals? Of course we do funerals. And not just those somber, all-black, three-handkerchief affairs. We do it in a rowdy Mardi Gras style with music and dancing That's and good all bear races. I'd like to say we put the fun in funerals. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. See you later. Maybe sooner than you think. Check it out. Cruises. Glass bottom boat. When the tears come, shouldn't you be prepared? Stan's previously owned coffins. Three hour tours. Capsize charters. Glass bottom boat for sightseeing or special interest voyages. Capsize charters. Glass bottom boat for sightseeing or special interest voyages. I don't voyages. really have anything. There's a picture of her on it. Three hour tours. I don't really have anything heavy. See the world. For that to work. Well, well, well. I knew you'd come back. My customer, eventually. Could you show me? What an good solid construction on keeps out the worms while your body firms. Could you get in and show me how big it is again? <laughs> no problemo. <laughs> this thing's bigger than my kitchen. You know, a person's coffin should reflect their station in life. If you're thinking about one of those cheaper models, first ask Maybe? yourself. I don't think I should pin that. 
Can I okay, so we get like one else? chance. And then he jumps out. I gotta go. See you later. Hmm. Maybe sooner than you think. Hmm. Sunken galleons. I feel like... Sunken galleons. This might make a nice wall hanging. Glass bottom boat. I feel like Cap I need something target. heavy. Glass bottom boat for sightseeing or special interest voyages. There's a picture of her on it. Let's see. see we'll world. come back. Okay. There's clearly now, a lot going on next? here. It's a Pirate great day spit for contest. spitting. Just look at this juicy crowd. Pirate spit contest. Pirate spit contest. Spit fun. Spit fun. <laughs> Step up to the line and test your swill. Okay. Valuable prizes. Ah, the whole world loves a spitting contest. What the Come on! It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. Just put your two lips together and blow. Are you pirates or not? Two, four, six, eight. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? The Phlegm Master. Well, they call me the Phlegm Master. The Phlegmster. The Phlegmster. <laughs> it's even better. The Master of Phlegm. Spit away! All right, Phlegm Master. Bro, misfire, it's a misfire. dribble. Everybody run. Well, so much for the phlegm master. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. Everybody already has the necessary equipment. <clears throat> the phlegm master ready for his comeback. Sp All right, phlegm master. Let's go. Now, interesting. When I patooied, I just spit. But I swish swish and nothing happened. So maybe I have to go through all of them? <laughs> yeah, hawking back a lug. Spit! There we go. It looks like he's rallying. That doesn't quite qualify. But. I think that deserves a little applause. Okay, so maybe Too bad like a combination. there are only prizes for first place. Better luck next time. Maybe there's a combination we need to find. Now, how about the rest of you? Turn a disgusting habit into a prestige-winning skill. <clears throat> the Phlegm Master ready for... Okay, swish. Spit! My face getting bigger. <laughs> Better not blow it, man. Hey, spitter, 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 spitter. Come on, spitty, spitty, spitty. At least he's consistent. That doesn't quite qualify. Now, how about the rest of you? Don't let this grass wither up and die. What was that? Did I hear somebody swallow? <laughs> <clears throat> The Phlegm Master ready for his comeback. Spit away! Hey, spitter, 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 spitter. Hey, spitter, spitter, spitter. Once again, that doesn't quite qualify. Now, how about the rest of you? Thousands will spit, hundreds will win. No volunteers. If Blackbeard were here, he'd shoot you all right now. That doesn't seem to work. Come on, don't be shy. Let it fly. Okay, I'm I guessing you maybe I can't do this. It's on the tip of your tongue. Maybe I can't do this yet. You think spitting is gross? I'll tell you what's gross. Swallowing that stuff is gross. Cheat? With everyone watching? Prove to oh. me that you guys are at least as fun as a pack of llamas. Cheat? With everyone watching? I hear there's some scouts here from the pro spitting circuit. Ooh. Cheat? 
With everyone watching? This may be your okay, last so if we can get them distracted somewhere, then maybe success. I can rearrange the flags, and then I could... Okay, now, who's gonna be next? Do that. Two, four, six, eight! Oh, me, me! Okay, so if I talk to them <clears throat> or interact the with the fault master. line, then I'm spitting. Spit? Hey, spitter, 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 <laughs> spitter! Hey, spitter, spitter, spitter! Hey, spitter, 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 spitter! Hey, spitter, spitter, spitter. Hey, okay. hey spitter. Ooh. Well, what about you folks? Yeah. Step up to the line and test here. your swill. <coughs> Are you pirates or not? Oh my, yeah, that's right. We have a whole place to freaking go. Um, I want to see if there was a path north beyond the spitters there. So we have a couple of things up in the air. I don't have a super clear direction yet. There's something about the party the at the mansion, and Last then we probably have boat. to get the... Just look at this juicy crowd. Okay, yeah, there's nothing back don't here. Don't let this grass wither up and die. Something Step about the costume. The and test your swill. To get into Even the uh, place. In fact, they do it very well. And the cannon, which calls the mailboat or something. There's obviously something with the parrot. There's the hook on the wall that is up in the air. And uh, we'll just have to see how things go, man. We'll just have to see. Is this guy genuinely new to this? You talking about me? Yeah, this is my first time playing. That's what you mean. Oh, hello. Looks like a plank stuck in a hole in a tree. My first Monkey Island game was, uh, what day did we start? Two days ago? On Wednesday? Playing uh, Secret of Monkey Island? Use hole. <laughs> Big woodpeckers. <laughs> One end looks carved so it will fit into holes. Yeah. It's too high for me to reach. I can't dig that, Daddy. Oh. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, so only this thing. It can go in any hole. But why? I don't know. I probably can't reach these holes. One end looks carved so it will fit into holes. I can't reach that high. I can't reach that okay, high. Okay, so I can't reach any of these. But I got a bunch of holes to play with. Which, as I always say, I'd rather have more holes than no holes. Yeah, no. How oh, rustic. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Only shiny pages left in the catalog. What? I don't know if anyone caught that. It's probably good. Okay, so... How oh, rustic. Uh, no thanks. Only shiny pages left in the catalog. I can only open and close this. It looks like the roof, maybe there's something I can do. Like, maybe I'm up here and I could jump onto the roof at some point, because it looks like I do have to climb this. But maybe I need more uh, stuff to stick in the holes. We'll see. We have a small structure, and then we'll check the mansion. <laughs> Arjun. Yeah, I know. It was the girl that we were hitting on, so I was curious. Is that? The ghost pirate That's not shot. actually him. Get a grip. Yeah, okay. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there Good something one. I can help you with? I'm here for the governor's party. Oh, you I can't. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. So I've heard. I don't have an invitation. Then you can't go past me. 
Uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? You mentioned a party before? Did you bring a costume and invitation? This isn't my costume. Nobody would willingly wear such a dopey <laughs> costume. Mm, gotta go. Okay, so I need Keep not just work. not just a uh, a costume, but I need an invitation as well. Is there something I can help you with? You mentioned a party before? Did you bring a costume? I don't have. Then you can't. Mm, gotta okay. go. Okay. Keep up the good work. So, I've got a couple of leads. I got a couple of leads. All of them lead back to Ville de la Booty. We have. Uh, uh, ultimately, I need to find a figurehead to get the piece of map. Okay? Fine. Cool. Whatever. But we have. We have to get an invitation. We have to get a costume. There's something with this mail boat, and there's something with the parrot. But I, I guess maybe this could be a costume. Nah, I have a thing about lice. No ink, nothing much to write about anyway. And then I have all this crap. Whoops. Let's go back in here. And then we have the the crypt key in the coffin uh, place. But I, I feel like I need to place something or either place something on top of the, the coffin or nail it down. Did we see... Um, we had the... Uh, we had the hammer and I think a bucket of nails at the other island. Maybe that's our solution for... Uh, for, uh, the coffin. That could work. That could work. Okay. I saw somebody in chat say something about the parrot chow on the hook. Oh, shit. I'd like to buy this mirror. And I'd like to sell it to you. Okay. That'll be 15 pieces of eight. That was spoiled, but that's fine. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. So that distracts him from the mirror so that I could buy it. Oh, did I see this one? I'd like to buy this small picture frame. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. All right. And if I take this back... Would you mind leaving that here? The parrot likes it even better <laughs> than the mirror. <sighs> okay. So now he's looking at this. What good does the mirror do for me, though? That is a nice looking beard. That is a nice looking beard. Okay. I don't know. But I'm thinking... I'm hoping that if we go back to the other island, that maybe I can somehow get the wood guy out of there. Uh, maybe that's... There's probably, like, this sequencing between the islands that we need to figure out. Hmm. Maybe that's the mail boat. No, I, I think you you that probably did hide it, it, but, like, I, at a glance, sometimes I'll catch that stuff, right? Was that it? Uh, maybe. I see. Okay, let's go to the Dread ship. Let's go back to the main island. We have a couple of. Where do you want to go? We have a couple of ideas. Boom, ba, boom, 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 ba, boom, 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 boom. Click random places. Oh, I'll try to remember to do that last next time. All right. Fun fact, I was the primary author for the official Monkey Island game in 1992. I want to believe you, Dio. <laughs> I want to. That would be awesome if you kept that from us.
No. No, Javelini. No, he wasn't. All right. Let's first of all check out here. See if Steamy Weenies is open. I'm curious. It's, oh, it's never going to be open. Why do I think it's going to be open? It's never going to be open. But I'm just thinking maybe I could get into it. All right. I can't. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe I can? Hold on. I got a saw now. Unlimited potential. I don't think I should cut that. You. I don't think it'll work with that. It's too peaceful out here for that. That is a nice looking beer. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I think the only thing I'd want to try here... Actually, I want to try two things in Wood Tick. I want to try the wood shop. And I want to go back into the hotel. Okay, still working. Yeah, see, we got nails here. Get away from there. I need all of them. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Get away from there. No one touches her but me. Capsize charters. Glass bottom boat for sightseeing or special interest voyages. There's a picture of her on it. No, thanks. Soil the king's image? Sacrilege! No, thanks. Okay. I don't have any hints for him, either. I've, I've no idea of how I'm going to get him out of there. Maybe I need to, like, damage something, and then he would need to go and repair it. If nothing happens at this ship, I'm going to go to the other island. This is probably just the same. Yeah. There is something with this painting, maybe? With the saw? I don't think I should cut that. Nope. That is a nice looking beer. All right. Let's let's go to This guest registry is throwing me off. You're supposed to leave these things open. I'd have to have a room first. Oh, what if I ring the nice. bell now? Does he ever come back, this guy? All right, sick. It's going well. Okay, F this island. Didn't want to be here anyway. Bye now. I think the hammer and the nails is for the coffin. That's what I have so far. Scab, scab, booty, and fat. The double letters in the names create the word bot. Doesn't mean anything, but read it. But you read it. Oh. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay. Swamp lady? Don't care. Cemetery? If I get the key, I could unlock one of those things. And the... Oh, I can't even go here now because his boat's out here. All right. That's fine. I'm, that's fine. Where do you want to go? Okay. Click somewhere random. We can't go there, man. That's the forbidden triangle. We can't go there, man. That's the forbidden square. We can't go there, man. That's the forbidden pentagon. We can't go there, man. That's the forbidden circle. We can't go there, man. That's the forbidden hexagon. We can't go there, man. That's the forbidden parallelogram. <laughs> okay, so he knows all his shapes. Deadput, looks like my free message refresh. Want to ask for rules of hints for Easter eggs are allowed since they're not puzzle progression? Yeah, sure. And, he, and you know what? Like, I'm not looking to break anyone's heads if they're suggesting solutions. It's just way more fun when I can look at chat and interact and not worry about things being spoiled because... If you're playing a game like this and you just l have all the answers readily available, it becomes way less interesting. It's fun to try and solve them, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm in this to break it, though. <laughs> well. I 
I really wish there was an option to speed this up, but maybe it's loading? I don't think so. Guys, I gotta go to a baptism tomorrow for like... A long time. Not stoked on it. Fat City Library was Excuse mentioned. Me, sir. Oh, really? Yes? We're wanted Aren't here? you Guybrush Threepwood? Nope, we definitely lie. No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's, That's me. an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Nice try, Guybrush. Damn it! You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. What, am I under arrest? If you want to put it that way, sir, yes. Oh, all right. Let's go. It's coming. Whoa! Well, Mr. <laughs> oh, excuse me. The flies. Oh, no. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Oh? Why is that? I thought we might talk about a few things. Such as how much it must cost to keep you in finery? <laughs> I admit my tastes run to the expensive. Oh, okay, we're making fat jokes. To the expansive is more like it. I am not a patient man, Mr. Threepwood. Yes, I've had to indulge in a bit of creative financing, but I've just made a deal that will keep the bill collectors out of here for a long time. <laughs> Holy shit. Selling your old clothes to make circus tents? I'll be selling something which I believe I hey, should be glad okay, we'll see you to be next rid time. of. I'm selling you, Mr. I'll be done in like half an hour. Ghost Pirate LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. As I've he learned. He perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no. LeChuck's back. I beg your pardon. Did you say something? I took care of LeChuck once, I can do it again. You'll get your chance. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? Why, you... You can figure it out while you wait in jail for LeChuck to pick you up. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. I thought I'd be in jail in the Come first on, one. That never weasel. ended up happening, so I'm actually kind of pumped about this. I'll be back. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. The dog. Walt will chew you to bits. With the key. Okay, well, I'll be back to release oh, his you name's at 11. Walt. No way. My dog's name is Walt. We call him Walty. A fine example of dieting gone horribly wrong. It's a tibia. I can't reach it. I hope I don't have to sleep here. Oh. Oh, my inventory's gone. Nice. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. <laughs> the Bone Master again. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's a tibia. That doesn't seem to work. It's already pulled back. It's already pulled back. I don't want to. I don't want to either. <laughs> what a ferocious looking dog. Hello, little doggy. 
Come here, doggy, doggy. Here, boy. If this works, the door is locked. Okay. Now we're talking. These are my kind of puzzles. There's a banana in here and Gor an organ. Gorilla em gorilla envelope. Banana and an organ? This reminds me of a story about a farm girl and... No, never mind. What? What a big organ. An organ. Like a music organ? It's empty. Mr. Willie Gorilla. Arrested for grinding his organ in public. Oh my god. Mr. Guybrush Threefoot. Arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Hey, that tickles. All of our stuff. Nice. Okay, but we did gain a banana and an organ. What a big organ. Excellent. Do I still have that key? I do. Okay, I can't use this one. I guess we're just gonna walk out of here. We're out. Easy game. Pull poster? Uh, no thanks. I've got enough trouble in this town. Uh, no thanks. I've got enough trouble in this town. If I could read, I'd spend all my free time at the Fat City Library. Reginald Blackbeard. This we should lift. It's stuck to the wall. Wanted. Guybrush Threepwood. Hey, that's me. For the murder of G.P. LeChuck. Also for the use of witchcraft on the person of Largo Legrand. The thievery of clothing and medically prescribed hair supplements for such witchcraft. <laughs> Grey robbing. Trespassing. Larceny without a permit. Exceeding allowable FDA limit for rodent parts in Vichyssoise. Unauthorized exiting from a penal institution. Impersonating a federal mail boat. And releasing a dangerous reptile in a populated area. <laughs> also wanted for questioning regarding the disappearance of prescription eyewear. Reward offered for information leading to the That's suspect's awesome. apprehension. Threepwood is to be considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Right I love on. that it, it recounted literally everything that we've done. I don't think I should cut that. You don't? I do. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. So wait, do I have two sticks? I sure do. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Is there anything over to this side? Yes. I'm going to go to the library, because we've heard about this library a billion times. Okay? Oh. <laughs> Chat, you spoiled it again. Cat, don't spoil it. I'm not going to pretend like I don't see it, you know. It's Captain Kate. Oh, <laughs> she's in trouble. Don't spoil it, though, Cat, okay? I'm just asking you nicely. I appreciate the help, but... No more bets? Okay, here oh, we go. Oh, gambling in a dark alley. Excellent. Excellent. This is fun to watch. Hey, Susan. How's it going? How's your night? 31 red. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, oh, there's our invitation and a free puzzle. pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. <laughs> oh, those I'd guys. like the money. The money it is. I got this weird obsession with putting stuff in their front pants. Bless your bets, please. You can't win if you don't play. Care to make a bet? Hello. How you doing? Could you explain how this game works? Sure, it's easy. Just tell me what number you want and I'll spin the wheel. If your number comes up, you win. Sounds simple. What numbers can I bet on? 
One to thirty-two, red or black. Do many other people come to play here? Well, lots of people come to play when we've got a bunch of prizes. But we're almost out today. We only have three left. What prizes do you have left? We have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus, and an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party. And, of course, we have money. Sixty pieces of eight for every bet. Wow. Hmm. Why is this guy back? I just remembered. I don't gamble. Why not? You could win big. Come back if you change your mind. Excuse me, pal. I want to make another bet. Four red. Four red it is. There's... Okay, so he said... Was it 31 red? His Was his first bet 31 red? Maybe there's something to do with what he's doing. Because otherwise, what's the point? Nice escape from the morning period in the UK. Four red. Yeah, Four with the red. queen and everything, I'm you sure it's pretty not game. safe. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if he comes back as Care I approach. To make a bet? Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Hey, don't touch the wheel. Hey, don't touch the wheel. That would be rude. Easy money. That would be rude. He's not my type. Easy money. Hey, don't touch the wheel. Hey, don't touch the wheel. All right. Could you tell me how this game works again? Okay, he is coming back. Sure, it's easy. Just tell me what number you want, and I'll, if your number comes. Sounds simple. What numbers can I bet on? One to 32, red or black. I. Why not come back? Excuse me, pal. I want to make another bet. Two red. Two red it is. Okay, so I think he's gone red every time. I, I, I feel like I might have missed the first one, but I I think it was 31 red. Then he did four, two and then red. he did two. All right. You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. So, either they're both in on it, and this is a scam, or he's got Let's something figured out. Please. But the fact that this guy isn't getting upset that he keeps you winning win if you don't play. is weird. I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm pretty tight with cash at the moment. Oh. That's okay. We have charity games for people who are too broke to play. Great, I think. Okay, kid. Which number you want? Now, there's only one black. And the if, if I've seen him win all these reds, I kind of feel like... The odds of landing on red again are lower, but then I feel like the black is like a red herring almost, because the rest of the options are red. I'd like twenty-five. Let's just see what happens. Okay, here we go. Nineteen red. Too bad. Better luck next time. Well, thanks anyway. Was that I even one of my losing. options? Excuse me, pal. I want to make another bet. Two black. Two black. Oh, now it he's is. betting black. Okay. Two black. All right! You win again! Today is your lucky day, all right. 
Would you like money again? Yeah. So the only thing that I could see here is he went, I think 31 red, then four red, two red, two Bless black. Bets, so maybe he's working his way back up. And if you I were to bet, if you don't play. and it and if four black is an option, just one piece of eight. then I would try that. I'd like to place another bet. Another charity game? Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Okay, kid. Which number you want? Four black is on there. Could I be correct? That would tickle my fancy. I'd like four black. Okay, here we go. Come on, chat. Come on now. Let's go. You guys are all around the table. I'm shaking the dice and I'm about to roll them. I could just use roulette as an example, but don't need two of those. Come on, baby. 29 red. Shit. Too bad. Better luck next time. Well, thanks anyway. Excuse me, pal. Okay. I want to make another bet. 24 red. 24 red it is. I mean, he's going to be right. Twenty-four red. All right, you win again. Today is your lucky day. All right. Would you like money again? Yeah. Okay. You can't win if you don't play. Could you tell me how this game? Just. I just want the guy to come back. What number? What? I'd like to play. Another. Um, yeah. Okay. Which number you want? Okay. It went. It went 31 red, I think. That's a question mark. But then it went 4 red, 2 red, 2. I guess 2 black. But then it went 29 red. Wait. No. Did he guess? Oh, shit. No, I guessed four black. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta rearrange this. Uh, hold on. Four black. 29 red. 24 red. Okay, 31 red to four red, two red to two black. Then I guessed four black as if he was going back up on the evens. Yeah, but then the wheel was 29 red. Now he got 24 red. What's the pattern, bro? On second thought, I'll pass. Whatever. Maybe I can... Excuse let me just watch me, a couple pal. of his guesses. I want to make another bet. 29 red. 29 red it is. That's what the guess was, or that's what the wheel was when I guessed for black. Hmm. Twenty-nine red. All right, you win again. Now, last time. Today is your lucky day. All right. Would you like money again? Yeah. Last time, twenty-nine red came up. Twenty-four red came up next. All you have to do is watch the wheel go. I'd like to. Um. Yeah. Okay. Which number you? Now it's not even up there. I'm not going to guess any because I don't know if there might be something where 
uh, there might be a system where if I'm guessing, then it, like, resets. Kind of like, remember the guy's safe at, um, in the first game? Well, on second thought, I'll pass. Whatever. So I'm just going to take a couple of guesses Excuse here and see if we can me, find a pal. pattern. I want to make another bet. Three red. Three red Three it is. Three red. What the shit? Three red. All right. You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. What if we, uh, I have an idea. All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. Clearly that's bullshit. Oh, here we go. Yes, here we go, baby. Oh, he's going into another alley. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. That's what I'm gonna do. Give me the next number. First, give me the password. If this is three, what's this? One. Right. The winning number will be nine red. Thanks. I didn't see what he put up first. If this is... Th nice. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. What's the next winning number gonna be? First, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is one, what's this? Sixty nine. Two plus three is five. Five? No, it's two. Watch again. If this is two, what's this? If this is two, then this must be three, four, because I'm adding digits. Four? No, it's three. Watch again. Oh my God. If this is three, what's this? I didn't even see the first one. It's a stupid password system. So you're a little smart mouth, huh? Well, we'll forget it. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go again. I'm nice. going to figure it out. I can't what miss his little first-hand thing. I don't know if the positioning the matters, number gonna but I'm just going to write down the numbers. Give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is five, Four equals what's five? this? What's one? Okay, I'm going to write these numbers out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. If four equals five, then five would be one, and then one would be two. Two? No. It's four. Watch again. What the fuck? If this is four. One is four. What's this? Then what's five? If one is four. What's five? Then I would. If I applied my system, which isn't right, then I would say five is three. But if one is four, what's five? Oh, oh wait, is five two? 
Two? No. <laughs> it's one. One? Watch again. If this is one, what's this? If five is one, what's four? I feel like it's something to do with the positioning of his fingers. Five is one. What's this? I don't fucking know. Four? No. It's five. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? Literally, my head's hurting. One? No. It's four. Watch again. If this is four, what's this? Oh! Three? No. It's one. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? One? No. It's two. Watch again. If this is two, two fingers what's down, this? four fingers down, four. No, it's three. Watch again. If this is three, what's this? I was thinking it was fingers down. Maybe it's like how many are up minus what's down. Three. Look, I've been generous. Most of the guys <laughs> in the Gamblers Club can get it in three or four tries. Are you a new member? Or just slow? Come back later. Oh, shit. Both, man. I'm both. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number gonna be? First, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is one, what's this? I missed his fucking fingers again. God damn it. I, you know what? I haven't even accidentally gotten one right yet. One? No. It's four. Watch again. If this is four, what's this? If this is four... What's this? Right? If this is four, what's this? If this is four, which is five, what's this? If this is four, which is actually five, what's this? This is four. Am I adding to what he said before? Or am I subtracting? Does his hand position matter? I'm gonna, I'm gonna explode. I have six minutes to figure this out. One? No. It's five. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? Okay, so this is five? What's this? Four? No, it's one. Watch again. If this is one, 
What's this? If this is one, if this is one, what's this? If this is one, what's this? Am I gonna, am I gonna hate myself after, after I figure this out? Is it gonna be so obvious? If this is one, what's one here? What do I have that's one on here? Literally nothing. Three fingers up, two fingers down, two fingers, two finger spaces, one hand. One? No, it's three. Watch again. How is that three? If this is three, what's this? What's three? Three fingers down. I go like this, four fingers down. Four? No, it's two. Watch again. If this is two, what's this? Dude. I, I, I fucking don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, chat. Okay, here's the, I'm gonna ask for a hint, okay? But I, I'm gonna tell you exactly, I'm gonna word it very correctly. So you don't just tell me the answer. Yes or no? Does the positioning, whether he's forward or backwards, of his hand matter? Yes or no? I'm not asking luckless. Okay, the positioning doesn't matter. Okay. So it's just the number. It's just the number. Five? No, it's one. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? Okay, I'm gonna start to. I'm gonna have to start to write stuff down. I'm gonna have to start to write. I'm gonna have to start to write all this down. I need. I need to write. One, two, three, four, five, multiple times. And then when he tells me whatever shit is, I'm gonna just be like, trying to, f I don't even think it's gonna help. Okay, I honestly don't think it's gonna help. Three? No, it's five. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? If three is five, what's two? If three is five. Oh! Four? No. It's three. Watch again. If this is three, what's this? If two is three, what's one? If two equals three, one should equal two. But it's not gonna be that. Two? Okay, that's oh, one, fuck right? Fuck me. Okay. Two more. Okay. If this okay. is two. What's this? Now, if one is two, what's four? It should be three, four, five. Five? No. Fuck. Okay, I don't know it. It's then. one. I don't know it. Okay, we'll start I don't over. Know it. <laughs> Watch again. If this is one, what's this? Okay, next hint, chat. Next hint. Is it. Is it the number of fingers that matters? 
Is it the number of fingers? I am writing it down. Look, these are my cryptic ass notes right now. I am writing the- I'm writing the sequence! I'm breaking the code, okay? It's not working! Fuck. Okay. I- I- now I, I lost what he said before. I lost what he said before. So I need to get- now I need to do it again. Is this like the sword fighting where I'm just learning what he's fucking telling me? And there's no actual math involved? Don't answer that. That's probably what it is. Okay. Chat, you know what? Just, I'm gonna, I got something here. One, two, three, four, five down. And I'm gonna write one, two, three, four, five across. Two? No. Okay. It's four. Watch so again. now, watch. He's if gonna this say, "This is four. What's this?" Oh, that doesn't. That doesn't help me. Two? No. It's five. Watch again. If this is five. Three is five. What's this? Three equals five. Two equals. Okay. When he tells me that three is five, two is what? Two? No. It's three. Two is Watch three. Watch again. Okay. If this is three, If two what's equals this? three, then four equals... Two? Okay, that's Ooh, one, that's right? Sure. Essential. Two more. If this is two... If four is two... What's this? One equals... If this is four, I swear to God, I'm gonna I'm gonna smash something. Four? That's two. <laughs> you one son more. of a bitch! If this is I think four, I got it. What's this? If one equals four, two equals one. One? Okay, you must be a member of the gamblers' club, but I don't recognize you. <laughs> God, you guys, that is some bullshit. That is so stupid. Oh my god. Every time it's just the first hand signal he shows you, bro. It's the first hand signal, that's it. Look, this is what I this is what I crafted, okay? That's that's the solution right there. That's the solution. Okay, so what I did was, I wrote down, okay, if three is five, and he's, and then he puts a, t what's a two, and then I got, get it wrong, and he says, oh, it's three. Okay, so I'm like, oh, there's two threes. Cool. And then I'm like, okay, so if two is three, and uh, what's four? And then I'm like, I don't know. And I accidentally got that. And he's like, yeah, it's two. And I'm like, okay, oh, shit, there's two twos. And then well, if four is two, What's one? I'm like, oh, it's probably the same fucking number that's right up there. No, I was transferred here today. New orders. <laughs> what? Did not like. Um, sorry. I had a flashback there. Did See, not like. What I like. meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be 15 red. Thank you. Oh my god, you guys. That's... <laughs> I'm gonna blame the fact that we've been playing this for three and a half hours, okay? I'm just gonna blame it on the fact that no I'm more bets. Okay. I'm tired, okay? Here we go. Now, 13 red, I better write this down. Unbelievable. Juniper, thank you for the super chat. Deadput, thank you for the super chat. Again, today is your lucky day, all right. Thank you guys. Would you like money again? <laughs> yeah. Adam Curtis Bradford, thanks for the twelve months. I think that's enough for me thanks, today. Man. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Okay, so he's quitting now. 
Thank God. Because I have the solution. You can't win if you don't Is play. 15 Fresh red. Your bets, please. 15 red. That's what I meant. See? Easy money. That's what I meant. <laughs> you still don't get it? The answer is... The answer is whatever he shows you first. So if he's like, if this is five, what's this? It's three. He's like, if this is one, what's this? It's five. It's just whatever he shows you first. I'd like to place another bet. Another charity game? Um, yeah. Okay, kid. Which number Ludwig, you want? Ludwig, thanks for the super chat as well. It's all over now. Shh, rest. I know. God, thank God it's over. 15, right? I'd like 15 red. Okay. I love that Here I didn't even... Go. I didn't even write down the correct answer afterwards. I was so rattled. Oh, man. Is that ever... That shakes me to the core. <laughs> Puzzled to the number of my hair. Yeah, probably. It's frazzled. 15 red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party. I might need both. Or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Like, maybe I gotta win well, it three times. which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants... The invitation. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. Care to make another bet? No. Care to make another bet? Okay, I'll be right back. You can't win if you don't play. You can't win if you don't play. You can't win if you don't play. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Care to make another bet? You can't win if you don't play. You can't win if you don't play. You can't win if you don't play. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Easy money. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Care to make another bet? You can't win if you don't play. Easy money. Easy money. Bless your bets, please. Okay. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. We're back. Um, I feel like maybe you I want to win all of those. You don't play. Because maybe I need you more money. Make... But uh, I'm done now. We're done for the day. I have to leave. But uh, that was fun, right? That was fun. That was great. That was fun. That was fun. We're 33% complete. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be back uh, tomorrow night. Um, as I said, I have a baptism and then like a, a post baptism uh, thing. Let me see. Hold on. Baptism. I think there's a thing after. So like maybe around the same time, maybe a little earlier ish. Um, but I'll let you guys know on, on the old Twitter's. I'm not getting baptizes. When I when I walk in there, I'll just catch fire. Is it a doggy baptism? That would be cool, I guess, if you're into that. <laughs> Rest your brain, weasel boy. Yeah. So when we come back, we'll go to the secret code guy again. And then we'll see if we can win the money and the other thing. And then we'll leave. Right? I think so. I think that'll be the plan. Thank you guys so much. That was an absolute blast. I had nothing but good times there. So, yeah. Have a good night. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night for a couple of hours. And then we'll finish the game uh, Sunday.